So this next story will blow your mind. With the help of a DNA test, a mother and daughter just met for the first time after nearly 70 years. Look at this. On the left here is 88-year-old Genevieve Purinton. On the right is her daughter, Connie. And here's the thing. Genevieve was told that Connie had died at birth. Joining us now are Connie Maltrup and her daughter, Bonnie Chase. Genevieve couldn't be with us this morning. She's older and this conversation wouldn't work. But, but Connie, explain how this happened. Your mother, she had you, your biological mother had you when she was just 18. She was told you died at birth. You were put up for adoption. Explain. Well, that's exactly what happened. I was put up for adoption. I was adopted by a family in Southern California. And that's where I grew up. And uh, I don't know, I just, I just always, I remember being five years old and hoping that my biological mother would come through and rescue me. And Genevieve never knew, never knew you were alive at all. Nope, nope. And actually when I, uh, my cousin contacted her uh, in a card and gave her my phone number. She thought it was a scam. Mm. So, Bonnie, that's where you come in here because this was all made possible because you gave her what turned out to be the most consequential Christmas gift in the history of mankind, which is a DNA Absolutely. test, the, the Ancestry.com DNA test, which led to what? Um, <clears throat> it led to my mother's lifelong dream. And it also led to a ton of family in other places as well. Um, after she was adopted, my mom had a, a really, really rough childhood. And so when she said she started fantasizing about finding her birth mother at about five years old, there were real reasons for why she was having those kinds of thoughts. Um, and then for her to, you know, all these years later actually find her has been such an incredible miracle. And John, how am I ever going to beat that Christmas present? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know if I ever can. I mean, you, you gave her yeah. a, a mother she never knew she had, and you gave Genevieve, whom you didn't even know, a daughter she literally thought was dead. And, and Connie, you met Genevieve for the first time just last Monday. I for know. The first time. What was that like? I know. That was, okay, you're going to make me cry, yeah, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So that was the most astounding event. Um, my husband and I walked into the, uh, into the, uh, the uh, residential community where she lives. And um, I knew she used a walker, and there was only one woman there with a walker. So I just, as soon as she turned around, I was looking in the mirror and I knew it was her and ran over to her and just hugged her and started to cry. And what did she say to you? <sighs> You're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine. I, I can't imagine getting a phone call being told that a daughter, and oh. we're not talking, I mean, 69 years, 69 years later, you thought your daughter was dead, getting that phone call that you're alive. Um, and you planned yeah. to, you, you spent four days with her, and now she's going to be part of your life. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We hit it off instantaneously. It was like, and I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it was just an, an instant connection. Mm. It, was a, it was really astounding. Mm. And Bonnie, you know, what message do you want to send to the people watching about this? What did you learn from this in this new bond between your mother and grandmother? <clears throat> so I've never met my biological father. And so all our lives, it's just been me and my mom until my kids were born. We haven't had any other mm -hmm. uh, blood family. And we've discovered she's got two half sisters mm -hmm. that are still alive on her biological father's mm -hmm. side and we're actually going down to meet them in a couple of weeks. And what we've discovered through this whole process is that blood does seem to actually be thicker than water. There's yes. so many um, coincidental similarities uh, that, are, that mm -hmm. can't possibly be coincidental. Um, my kids are incredibly musical, especially my daughter, and it turns out that runs in uh, the family and there's um, the sense the the weird sense of humor that we have is it, it, it like all of it uh. is just it 
is also connected. And the other message to me that's really important is that this is really, to me, it's a story about the strength mm -hmm. and uh, resiliency of women <clears throat> who can come through mm. really difficult times and then, um, and, and, you know, separate and then come back together and still be a family, right. which is just really, it's really special, well, really amazing. Bonnie, Connie, we are so happy for you that you now have this new relationship with a mother and a grandmother you didn't know you had. Um, have a wonderful holiday. Uh, you've really made Thank our you, morning so much better today. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. You too.